Hello once again. This is Derek Barron. I'm the product manager for Rational Asset Manager, and we're going to be looking at part three of our demonstration here of SOA governance with uh, WebSphere Service Registering Repository, ALE, Advanced Lifecycle Edition, which is a bundle of Rational Asset Manager and WSRR. So today's topic, once again, is impact assessment, and we'll be looking at uh, capturing relationships between services and uh, being able to perform impact analysis. So in the demonstration, we're going to look at, uh, as, as we have done, both dimensions, the development or, or design time of your assets, the, the things that go into building and delivering your service, and the impact analysis uh, capabilities that span over into the runtime service, which is managed in WSRR. So, uh, again, development being all the things that go into creating and delivering the service, and then uh, runtime being the live registry and repository for those endpoints that you can actually uh, connect to and, and consume. So, uh, thank you. I hope you enjoy the demonstration. Okay, so part three of our demonstration is really focused on impact assessment and how you get this done uh, throughout the development part of your SOA services all the way through into your runtime environment. So uh, let's focus here, first of all, in Rational Asset Manager with our service specification for the credit verification service. And here's the main asset itself. We've got the uh, specification that was developed and by uh, developers and a development tool. It's got the uh, the WSDL and uh, the XSC D here in it, and um, we, this is linked over to WSRR, which we'll take a look at here in just a minute. So, first of all, uh, some important parts of, of impact is is a number of things. One is just getting uh, feedback and rating. So, if we look at the ratings column here, we can see that the team, as they've been working with and developing this asset, has been able to provide ratings and feedback. And so, we can see the various ratings here and feedback from the different users. They can be anonymous if they want to. Um, for real services in a production environment, you'll have lots of this feedback from the different uh, departments and line of business that are using your services. This can be very valuable in understanding um, what they like and what they don't like about the service, uh, the SOA service that's being provided. You can also uh, connect and attach forums to one or more of these assets that you have in RAM so that you can do set up things like uh, question and answer forums, um, a, a feedback, a discussion you know, around enhancement and defect requests. So uh, these can be lined up and, and set up for each of your, uh, of your applications here. So now in terms of uh, doing some true impact analysis, uh, one of the great ways to do this was through uh, video visualizing the asset and, and, and understanding all of the uh, intrinsic relationships. So uh, while, while that view is loading up, it just takes it a moment to do that. Uh, you can also, of course, uh, subscribe or get an asset feed. So if we wanted to subscribe to this asset, it's another way to understand if this asset is being changed, uh, you can be notified uh, about that. So you simply um, subscribe to the asset, define your frequency, and now you'll be notified uh, about any changes or new relationships to this asset with the frequency that you want. So looking back at the visual browse, um, you can see that we it gives you a view of the specification asset here and all of the related relationships. So uh, this is a, uh, a great way to understand uh, the impact of making a change to you know any one of these particular uh, assets. So the specification has a schema. Uh, a couple of implementations. Uh, it's linked into the release asset itself, and so you can really quickly understand the impact of any changes to you know any one of these particular items. Okay, now let's take a link over right into the development, or excuse me, into the runtime world through our link with WSRR. This is going to take us to the synchronized asset, the uh, 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 the the XSD and and WSDL that's been synchronized here. And so this is our credit service uh, service specification. And uh, in terms of impact analysis, we just click on the impact tab here. And we can very quickly define uh, the impact view that we want, beginning with uh, defining our options for either dependent entities or entities that we depend upon. Um, uh, let's just salute 
select both, and we can also define the depth of the analysis. Let's just keep this one simple. We'll go with a depth of one, and we'll display it as a graph. So let's take a look at the dependencies here for the service specification. All right, so this is the uh, credit verification service specification, and particularly version one. Um, upstream, we can see that it has a service release, version one, which depends upon it. And then downstream, we can go in and see all of the elements that have been, all the objects that are related to the service specification itself. So this very quickly gives us a, a view of the impact. And uh, as with Rational Asset Manager, you can uh, subscribe to this particular graph uh, of, of impact. And so you can set up your subscription here um, and define the operations that upon which you would be notified, and even some of the transitions that you're actually interested in for this particular view. So uh, Rational Asset Manager and WSRR both together give you a very powerful way to understand the impact of both your development time and design time for the SOA, uh, which is optimized in Rational Asset Manager, and then also the same view, but for the, for the runtime part of the service in WSRR.